are the one of the biggest supermarket in the country and we are proud of it. I always believe simple living and high thinking in the life. Now money is not important in my life. If my health is good, I am fine. I am happy, my whole family is happy, so I don't have any regrets. I never look at that, so I never give up. I don't think so, I had a better life than this one now. Mahat the most humble and caring person I ever met. He's my icon because I learned a lot of things from him. A very great human being all over. He's honest and hardworking guy. He's a very, very nice person by heart. He's a compassionate and hardworking for business purposes. Extremely, extremely good person. Hardly people you can find like him. He's a pioneer in the grocery business and also informally known as the mayor of Chicago because he's the one responsible for what he wants today, the largest Indian shopping area. He's a very loyal person. You don't find too many people who come through thick and thin are loyal to their friends and to the family. Success is a matter of hard work, dedication, and above all, a burning desire, an insatiable need, a hunger. But for Mafat Patel, the hunger that led to immense success, respect in the community, and an empire was a different kind of hunger. It was the hunger for Indian flavors in a faraway country, the comfort of curry in a land of burgers and steaks, the kind of food that would not just fill his belly, but also nourish his soul. Over the last few decades, Patel Brothers has become the best known cure for home sickness for immigrants all across the United States. And in the process, it has become a household name and a business empire. This week, we look at the life of Moffat Patel and his family on Those Who Made It. Born in 1945 in the village of Bahandu, Gujarat, Mafat Patel was the eldest of six siblings. Raised in a farming family, the farthest that Mafat had travelled was when he went to the neighbouring district of Patel, where he studied mechanical engineering. So when he decided to go to the United States to pursue further education, it was a big decision for him and his family. One of my friends came from US and he asked my father, why don't you send your son to America? So my father also told me, why don't you try it? He gave me the inspiration to come, but my mom wasn't ready. Before I was born, my older brother was expired. That's why my mother was loves me than anything else. She doesn't want me to go away, but we convinced her. I'm not going away, I'm going to be with you all the time. And I grabbed the opportunity to come to this country. Despite being landlords in their village, Mafat Patel's family decided to send him to a foreign land in search of better opportunities. Armed with two diplomas in electrical and mechanical engineering and with a loan from his sponsor, Mafat Patel landed in the United States. And when I came, I got admission from Youngstown State University in Ohio. So I got bachelor degree over there and then came to Chicago in 1969. After graduation, I got a job in a quality control in Jefferson Electric Company. Worked for four years in the same place. Life in Chicago wasn't all that he had hoped for. He had a good job and a decent life, but something was missing. After a hard day's work, Moffat would come home and his heart would pine for the one comfort that he did not have, home-cooked Indian food. When I came here, there was not too many family here. We were two roommates, came from India, then we were together. We were vegetarian. It's difficult to eat everything. We were cooking ourselves. He was an engineer by profession and he said, you know, he had a nice job, but he said sometimes getting out in the cold winter, waiting for the train or the bus, how difficult it was, and then to come home in the evening and find out, okay, now we've got to do something about dinner. And there were no Indian stores. Basically, nothing available other than American groceries. <laughs> and I think that's where he probably got his idea one day, he must have realized, for me, to be even be successful in this country, I have to have some Indian groceries. In 1971, Mafat Patel's wife Chanchal and his three kids joined him in America and in the same year, his second son Shwetan was born in the United States. 
In 1974, while his wife took care of things at home, Mafat Patel, with the help of his brother Tulsi Patel and his wife Aruna, started the first Patel Brothers store at 2034 West Devon Avenue, Chicago. We started with small at 800 square feet. I was working, my brother was running the store. We both were working two shifts and my brother's wife was working from 10 to 10. If she won't be there, we won't be here right now because she was the main person who was controlling the whole empire at that time. My wife was taking care of home. We have two brothers, two sisters, we were all living together. We stick together and working hard to do the success. They were not easy. They, once we opened the store, even one day, two days, we don't have a customer on the store. We say, well, we're going to have that way we started up. Not too many Indians those days, 70s. They keep their faith on their service and that pays off. He would work full time as an engineer ship and then he come to the stores. He interviews the suppliers until late night and next day early morning he has to go back to his work. Mafad Bhai was purchasing everything he was doing. He was on retailing. Even in the early days, when Patel Brothers was just beginning to create an identity on Devon Avenue, customer service was always the center of their business philosophy. And long before the days of home delivery, Tulsi Patel would carry huge bags of groceries and deliver them right to the customer's doorstep. We used to deliver home. We had a good community business. At the same time, here we had 150 families. So, whenever they called, we were 10 miles, we used to deliver them on third floor also. And that time, we didn't have small bags. We had a 25 pound bag, 50 pound bags, or 35 pound um, uh, oil can. My brother used to deliver on the third floor. In the rain, snow, we didn't look at that one. That way we maintained the relation. On night time, at, after closing store, I used to deliver even milk. Aruna Ben, Tulsi Bhai's wife, would write your phone number down and they would research the project or whatever the questions you had needed answers to and then call you back. You know, for the smallest items that wasn't worth a lot of money, they didn't forget you because of that. They made sure the next time they saw you that they had an answer for you. That really sticks out. That they were caring even for the small items. At that time, the Indian people were very few. But here, had the reason that 20, 30, 40 years from now, there will be a lot of Indian people and they would need Indian grocery. So he took a wise decision to establish grocery business in 1974. With time, Muffet knew that Patel Brothers needed to grow, but this required external capital. And that's when he decided to go to an old friend. He was still working as an engineer, but he was also trying to get a foothold for Indian groceries. He asked me, would I be able to so-called help him since I wasn't banking. It told me that he had high energy level, that he could work 24 seven, and he had a lot of passion for what he wanted to do. I liked all the attributes of an entrepreneur in him, and we started to do more and more uh, as, as time went by. After 76, we started expanding the business. We bought one other supermarket in Chicago. And then 77, we built other grocery store on same Divan Avenue. And then my brother-in-law came, my sister came. So we started the business in 81, first Atlanta. 83, we started in New York. And then whole family came over here. We got a good hands. We got four nephews under the same umbrella. All are working together. 16 years I worked. I was an electrical engineer. I quit my job in 1985 and then I diverted myself to import export this business. We started importing the clothes from India. Right now we are importing all over the world. It's really brought this Ma and Pa Indian grocery store into the mainstream of USA. Be able to compete with stores like Walmart and other mega stores that exist in the USA. When I came into this country 27 years ago, he still was a small grocery store owner. From two to three stores, he's got 53 or 51 stores now. They are very successful in this business, grocery business. Nobody can beat them. He made a very strategic decision to start opening up stores to be near where the Indians were. And he was able to do that because he had a large extended family. So he was able to start opening stores, which helped Abel Brothers to build up the empire and the wealth. 
Despite all the success that he has achieved, Mr. Patel remains a simple and grounded man. I always believe simple living and high thinking in the life. But even if at the store, he will see him, you know, walking around. So unless somebody points out that, you know, hey, that's the owner for a newcomer, you know, you wouldn't know that he's the owner of this big uh, group. But one day when I was visiting the store, he just happened to be there in the store. And I saw him and he is talking to the customers like as if he knows to every customers that coming in the store in whole Chicago. He would say, you haven't been seen since last three months. So that is how he micromanaged the stores and developed them. He was a CEO of a 150 or God knows what is the million dollar value. But when I went upstairs, I said, how come you don't sit there? He said, no, I'm a common man. I want to sit downstairs with my people. And that is a rare quality nowadays. Everybody wants a big fancy CEO table, isolated by everybody else, and make a decision. But he's the most like a simple man. Over the decades, Patel Brothers has grown into a million dollar enterprise. But Moffat Patel knows that his real earning is in the form of the many loyal customers across the country. Whatever you don't get in India or anywhere else in the place, you will get everything, each and every item in a Patel Brothers. People are all over the country, they are coming to see on the Devani Avenue, on New York. They say, well, let's go and see the Patel Brothers. Something in the community that may not achieve. That is our main goal. Patel Brothers' contribution to the immigrants, I think, bulk of it would be that they found some sort of a homely feeling when they came on demand. They saw an Indian grocery store and they were able to get most of their needs from one store, especially now that they have packaged goods. It's really a lifesaver for a lot of the students and also housewives and other people. The homely feeling when they mobile their food. I was just at the store next door and I saw one of the Patel guy handing out a free mango pulp can to a customer just cause the customer asked him how this was taste-wise. So the, they have a very positive outlook in life. As Patel brothers grew, Mafat recognized that apart from hard work and the customer-centric approach, the success of the operation was largely due to the fact that it was a family-driven operation. In the years to come, Mafat made sure that it mostly stayed that way. To this day, a huge part of the employee base consists of the hundreds of members of the Patel family. Over the years, the Patel brothers have helped provide employment and livelihood to more than 300 Indian families in the United States. During the my time, I bring more than 350 families here and they are settled here. All are well to do. They are loyal to us and we are loyal to them. He was bringing in his large extended family because this was more of a family business where a lot of human labor was needed. Anybody else would have kind of given up or curtailed their business, but it's like I'm not looking back, I'm looking forward. Their success, especially the old Patel Brothers group, is one, they're a very close-knit family. You always see them together on Devan and they're always working together. In fact, it was the whole Patel family that developed this empire of what it is today that has helped him get where he is today. Uh, Muffet Bay, uh, you know, he was a patriarch from the family. Uh, almost 150 families are uh, known to have come into the U.S. just because of him. A few years into the store, if they have learned the trade, he'll help them set up a store. After establishing Patel Brothers as a market leader, Muffet Patel had asked the baton onto his sons Rakesh and Shwetal to turn their attention to the growing demands of a new generation and thus pre-packaged Indian foods hit the American market shelves under the brand name of Swad and Raja Foods. His son who developed Swad and Raja Foods, when I met him a long time ago, he must be a college student at that time. He just happened to be in the store when I went for shopping and I was asking the store guy that which rice I should take and his son Rakesh just put 15 pound rice bag in my shopping cart and I said no no I don't want to buy. He says no you are not buying. I am just giving you to try. That day I realized that the Patel brother is in the good hands of his sons and today they developed it. 
Mr. Patel is clear about his business strategy. Anything that is resulting in losses should be cut off immediately. Over the years, the brothers have started and shut down many business opportunities. But it is this eliminative process that has helped them realize their strengths and capitalize on them. See, every three years, I'm getting very big setback. I lost a lot of money in 77. Then again, I lost money in 90. And I lost again 92. After that one, we don't look at that. Whatever we are losing proposal, we cut off. We used to have a seven restaurants. We get rid of it. I had a PC board company, get rid of it. I got a beer company, get rid of it. I got five models, get rid of it. So whatever losing proposal, we get rid of We found only one successful story in the Patel Brothers. That's a never had a setback. We opened all the stores, we never closed any, any stores. The most positive thing I would say is his determination. He got all of an idea, he really pursued it, he tried it out. If it was unsuccessful, he didn't worry too much about it, wrote it off to experience and learned from it so that the next time he tried something similar, he was able to conquer it. It is often said that you cannot be one kind of a man and a different kind of businessman. And it holds absolutely true in the case of Muffet Patel. Just like he cares for his customers, he also cares for his community, whether in the US or even back home in India. I'm a associated with a lot of associations in Chicago area. Gujarat culture, Gujarat Samaj, Jain Society, Swaminarayan Temple. Associated with Indo-American Center, Indo-Medical Center. I had my own foundation, Patel Brothers Foundation, on my wife's name. So we do this a lot of charity under the name. Police brought one individual. They arrested him. He was in the footpath, sleeping in the cold weather. And police say, this guy is from India, he's from Kerala, he's sitting in the cold weather in the footpath, he will die. Can you help him? So I told Mokhat Bhai, can you help? He says, no problem, he will stay upstairs of Patel Brothers, he will work in my place, I'll give him some you know, food and lodging. And then, uh, he, without asking, he put the guy uh, on his feet. So that, that's a thing I have seen myself. When the new people came on demand, being afraid of the culture, not knowing where to go, most of them would migrate towards Diwan Avenue if they were looking for information or even employment when people needed jobs, you know, we had a lot of businesses on Diwan at the time and they were able to temporarily find some work there. Also in his properties, he, he was able to rent space to people if they came in and they never place to stay. He allowed them to stay until they were on their feet. If anybody come in my door, they go, whether with moral support, for financial support or any kind of help they require, we never say no to anybody. Moffat Patel is a man who is always willing to help people. Over the years, with the growing number of Indian immigrants that he employs, Mr. Patel has helped build a little India at Devon Avenue, Chicago. But his love for the windy city that helped him build his fortune and his empire was clear when he decided to build a Chicago in India. 2001, there was earthquake. Group of friends, we get together, we raise some money, we pinch our own money, and then I we flew from here to Boots. Whatever they required, we help them. Plus, we built 160 houses, two temples, school, everything we did in there. I met Narendra Modi and the first time in Boots, earthquake area. Since then, I met him four times. I met last time in Washington, and he said, what are you doing here? I said, sir, I came to see you. He said, don't tell me, sir. We know each other, you don't have to tell me, sir. So he's a humble and nice guy. We made a nursing college in Gadinagar. It was my, we did in favor of my wife's memory. At that time, he also came and he inaugurated nursing college too. He said, well, you people are doing very good job. Keep it up. If you need any help anytime, just ask her. We will help you out. But we never ask anything anyway. Another feather in the cap of the Sambhidna Foundation was when it opened the first burn care center in Ahmedabad's LG Hospital, inaugurated by none other than the then Chief Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi. We did a burn care center in LG Hospital in Ahmedabad. Who got burned very badly with the ward to good treatment. That time also he came. He said, Mr. Bhai, you people are doing excellent job, do it. 
coming from a family that lived off the land, Mufat Patel always stayed grounded in his approach to his business and his life. He believed in achievement and not just in accumulation. I was doing the farming over here and came here. My family never seen them. No sense to be walk high and show that we are for something else. We came with an empty hand, we burned with empty hand. No matter how much money we have, we would like to be simple. And simple, we will die simple. It's hard to imagine that what stands as an empire today originated from one man who wanted a home-cooked meal and decided to start a store so that immigrants all over the country could have the same. It just goes to show that if you help enough people get what they want, you can have everything you want. Catch us next week, same time, on Those Who Made It. Only on ZTV.